Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about the Indole test. The Indole test is an example of a biochemical test that helps us to distinguish between different kinds of bacteria based on their uh, biochemical or metabolic uh, characteristics. And the Indole test in particular is one that allows us to identify bacteria as being either Indole positive or Indole negative <clears throat> based on their ability to convert tryptophan, which is an amino acid, one of the building blocks of proteins, so to convert tryptophan into a compound known as indole. Using a chain of enzymes that are collectively known as a tryptophanase. A tryptophanase. And so this probably makes sense. Remember that when we talk about enzymes, um, we're looking at words ending in ACE. A tryptophanase would be an enzyme, or in this case, a group of enzymes that break down tryptophan, which is shown here. If you're used to looking at amino acid structures, there is your alpha carbon right there with its hydrogen, its carboxyl group, and its amino group, and this would be its R group right there that makes tryptophan. So this right here is tryptophan, and it is uh, reacted with water, so this is a kind of hydrolysis reaction, uh, along with those tryptophanase uh, enzymes to break tryptophan down to get three different products. So they are indole, which is this one right here, and pyruvate, and an ammonium ion. So this is a kind of deamination reaction. It's called deamination because it's severing this amino group from the carbon that it's bound to. That's what gives us the ammonium ions. That's why it's a deamination reaction. And you might be asking yourself, well, why? Why would bacteria even have this chain of enzymes, this tryptophanase capability? If tryptophan is an amino acid, it's a building block of proteins, well, why do we wanna break it down? Well, it turns out that these uh, products can have a few different uses in a cell. So for example, indole, which is this one right here, it is an intercellular signal molecule. So it is a molecule that can be produced by a cell and then excreted um, in order to allow that cell to talk to other surrounding cells. It helps regulate um, activities like biofilm formation, uh, and also certain virulence capabilities. Uh, and so that's why a, a bacterial cell might need to produce indole by breaking down tryptophan. <clears throat> pyruvate, one of the other products here, um, you may have heard of pyruvate before as the end product of another process called glycolysis. So it turns out that making pyruvate this way means that it can feed directly into the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle, the TCA cycle, the tricarboxylic acid cycle. These are all different names for the same cycle that are part of the aerobic respiration pathway. So glycolysis and the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain, these things uh, work together to generate ATP. So that's a, another way that the cell, if it was needing some ATP, um, might break down some tryptophan to get the pyruvate to um, send it into the Krebs cycle to help generate that ATP. So these, um, both of these products have some, some um, sort of necessary um, effects that sometimes a cell needs. So now we are kind of hijacking this ability to convert tryptophan into indole as a way in the indole test to distinguish between different kinds of bacteria. So let's talk about the procedure. So first of all, you have a test organism, some bacterial culture that's been cultured from a patient, for example, um, and in order to identify it, you want to determine if it has this ability to convert tryptophan to indole or not. So you inoculate some sterile media with this test organism, and the sterile media, there's a, a few different kinds that are possible. One is sim media, another is nutrient peptone, really any media that has enough tryptophan in it to be a starting reagent for any tryptophanase that's present, then that media would be good enough for the indole test. But these are certainly the more common ones. Then you incubate at 37 degrees, that's human body temperature, 
for 24 to 48 hours, and this is to give the test organism time to convert tryptophan to indole if, in fact, it's able to do so, if it has those tryptophanase enzymes. Then, after 24 to 48 hours, you add half a milliliter of COVAX reagent. Um, that's like a few drops, so it's not, not a lot. And then you observe for the presence or absence of a cherry red color at the surface. So if you've got two tubes and this one was inoculated with an indole positive uh, bacterial culture, then this right here, the surface uh, solution will get a bright cherry red color. That's because the chemicals that are in this COVAX reagent can uh, react with indole if it's present to create a dye known as the Rosendole dye uh, and that has a cherry red color. However, if there is no indole present because there was no tryptophanase to break down the tryptophan that was in the media, then you end up just kind of having a yellow color here. I don't have uh, a yellow marker, so I'm using orange today, but this would be a, a sort of a bright yellow instead of a bright red. And so some examples here of indole positive bacteria include E. coli, Aeromonas hydrophila, um, Enterococcus faecalis, species that would be indole negative, meaning that they don't have the tryptophanase enzyme, so they cannot convert tryptophan to indole. Those would be species of Salmonella and Klebsiella, just as an example. And there is also a, another kind of form of the indole test that's called a rapid spot test. It's not as sensitive as this tube test, and so it's used less frequently, but you might need to know that that spot test exists. Um, if you are interested in learning more about enzymes, you can see my video on introduction to enzymes. Um, I also have a video about aerobic respiration where I talk about the Krebs cycle a little bit if you're interested in that. And then I have a playlist with lots of videos about many other of these kind of biochemical identification tests, things like the citrate test, the lecithinase test, the DNA test, uh, the indole test. And so if you're interested in learning more about those, then please check out that playlist. And thanks for watching Biology Professor today.